President Biden is set to hold a summit with South Korea's president as they mark the 70-year alliance between the two countries. Ahead of their meeting, I sat down with President Yoon for an exclusive interview. Tonight, South Korean President Yoon suk yeol in the U.S. set to celebrate a 70-year alliance, but now facing a new test, that American intel leak with what appear to be intercepts of conversations between South Korean officials. I know Washington and Seoul have suggested that maybe these tapes were modified, but it sounds like the U.S. was spying on South Korea. Is there any other explanation? Lester, I also receive reports that there are things that are different from the facts about this incident. And I understand the investigation is going on by the U.S. government officials, and our security officials are closely consulting with their U.S. counterparts about this. I believe this matter is no reason to shake the ironclad trust supports the South Korea and U.S. alliance because it is based on shared values like freedom. Do friends spy on friends? Generally speaking, I don't think that in the real world it is something that is prohibited in state affairs. The most important thing is the trust. When you have that trust, you don't get it shaken. These intercepts, if they are what they appear, were conversations about Ukraine. Have you changed your stance as to whether your country would be willing to supply lethal weapons to Ukraine? And are you feeling pressure from the White House? Lester, I can tell you that there is no such pressure. As for South Korea, we are joining forces with the international community to uphold freedom and human rights, and we are providing assistance to Ukraine. Therefore, if the time comes when we must also supply some lethal weapons to Ukraine, when the situation on the battlefront changes, there won't be a situation of South Korea turning away from the joint effort of the international community. I also asked about recent North Korea missile tests. Do you think that the U.S. is paying enough attention to deterring a North Korean attack on the South? Yes, definitely. Since my inauguration, we're continuing our consultations with the United States about ways to enhance the effectiveness of the U.S. extended deterrence. And I can say that we're already making great strides in this realm. And in the past, when the threat was far away, maybe we might have some time. But now, now the threat is right at the front of our door. He says the common goal? The important thing is that we have to make North Korea never dare to resort to its nuclear weapons. Then there's the flashpoint over Taiwan, with fears growing of a possible Chinese invasion. You recently angered the Chinese by suggesting that Taiwan was really a global issue, much the way that North Korea is, as opposed to something just between China and, and Taiwan. Do you, do you take back those words, or is that still your position? Uh, so the Korean government's position toward the cross strait, it has been consistent. We believe the peace and stability around the Taiwan Strait is really important, and we cannot agree with any attempts to change the status quo by force.